Leftists frequently accuse us right-wingers of not believing in science. You rotten conservatives with your silly, fantastical God, they say, you don't understand that a simple series of natural laws that came out of nowhere not only caused a universe without cause, but created a mind that could understand that universe even though its randomness renders it incomprehensible. Because this is only one of an infinite number of imaginary universes we made up to explain all this away. You backward conservative troglodytes, they say. You think a formless blob of cells in a woman's womb is a separate person when it hasn't even come through the magic vagina yet, where special humanity dust is sprinkled on it and it suddenly develops the right not to be torn to pieces. You Trump-loving jackasses, they continue. You don't even accept the absolute fact that our computer models can predict the future of a climate far too complex for your right-wing computers, and so we know with absolute certainty that the whole world is going to die seven years ago if you don't give us all the money and power. Well, thanks for your input, left-wingers. And just to show how open-minded we are, let's take a look at some more left-wing science. Here, for instance, is a wonderful blog called The Selfish Activist, where body-centered therapist Tata Hazumi tries to teach what he calls white-bodied people how to be allies to other-bodied people. And if body-centered therapy is not an example of left-wing science, I don't know what is. Right now on Hazumi's blog, there's a post entitled, Why White People Can't Dance. The scientific Hazumi says, quote, and yup, these quotes are real, Colonization and westernization have profoundly impacted the way we move our bodies. Just think about even this little fact. Most non-European people didn't wear pants before colonization. They wore robes and skirts, no matter the gender. We also generally didn't sit on chairs. We squatted or sat on the ground. Many of our cultures didn't glorify tight, muscular abs. We didn't march like rigid European soldiers did. We walked using a slight skating motion from side to side and a subtle ripple up the spine, unquote. Now, I know you'd think Hazumi would be grateful that white people came along and taught these flabby, chairless, rippling, skirt-wearing savages some sense. But no, he goes on to say, quote, I understand now that whiteness is an energetic imbalance caused by a loss of spinal fluidity and awareness of the lower body. Emotional energy becomes concentrated in the upper body, particularly gathering in the mind. The white body is in freeze. It is ungrounded and cannot feel the earth. We see this pained energy of whiteness play out in our society through violence towards sexuality, emotional vulnerability, and ecology, amongst other things, unquote. So you see, left-wingers, the truth is, writing like this makes me love your left-wing science. The new Norm MacDonald comedy special is also pretty funny. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show. <laughs>